Hello everybody, welcome to 2024 first craft video with me. Welcome back to Bohemian Crafting channel, it's Eva here. And today uh, I would like to share with you uh, something what I have created in the past few days. I do have lots of stuff to sort out and I love to create some kind of organizers. And this year my first organizer and I do lots of organizers through the year for myself because I'm, I'm always messy with my craft. So this year uh, I started to create kind of like pocket organizers, those expandable organizers. And I do have different sizes and also a little bit different opening. So I made it like a simple book. And I made it like a wrap around organizer. And it's very easy. The start is same for both uh, types. Just then continuing for these wrap around pieces. It's a little bit different. And it's very easy. You can use six by six papers. That's that will you will end up with this size. You can use eight, eight by eight papers. So you will end up with this size. You can use any kind of book pages and you will end up with any kind of size. Depends on the book page you will use, depends on paper you will use. And I hope the tutorial I'm going to share with you today will be easy to follow <laughs> because I've been practicing a lot and I have to say that I love it. Uh, I love the, you know, the expandable pockets and I love that uh, once it's closed, either this wrap around or the one which is just like book it's cover the entry to my pockets so when i do open it i know uh it will don't fall out immediately if i will have you know pockets somewhere else so choose any size of paper choose any type of paper I do have here book pages and I do have here eight by eight papers to show you that the process is similar or I mean process is same for any size of paper. You will need five papers for pockets for these pockets and you will need one uh, sheet to cover your pockets. So I do have six pages here. One I'm going to put aside for that cover and I do have six sheets of eight by eight one I'm gonna put aside to create a cover first what you're gonna do you're gonna fold your paper on half no matter what size or uh, which way if you would like to end up with slim long organizer you will end up maybe book pages this way you will fold <laughs> you will fold not end up you will fold your book pages this way if you want to have uh, you know smaller size you will fold your book pages this way i'm gonna create one more of this slim and one more of this size which is from exactly same papers eight by eight so fold your papers on half i do have my papers folded now grab your papers and score not that folded side but these kind of like top and bottom score half inch half inch here flip it over half inch here Same if you are using book pages and you folded them. So this side and this side score them half inch. If you are working with centimeters, make a score line or fold one centimeter. I believe that will be enough. And make it on all five of them. Once you have scored the edges, grab your scissors and cut. Uh, the corners in the angle a little bit on both sides from that score line to the edge of the paper 
and again do it on all five papers same if you are using designer paper from that score line to the edge of the paper in the angle I have all those corners cut it a little bit fold it so you know where it starts and then glue the paper together do not make any pockets here you just want to reinforce this paper to make it stronger and more stable so put the glue inside and fold it back just between those folds not on those folds just between them on this space and same if you are working with book pages or any you know any other paper And if you like to use sewing machine, you can also sew these pieces and make it uh, more, more decorative. So I'm going to glue all my papers and I'm going to also fold these each on one side. Oh, come on. Here and here, like this. I do have prepared my pocket pieces. If you like to distress your papers, you, uh, you like to make it a little bit more vintage, now it's time to distress the edges. And you can also prepare the covering paper, the one which will go on the top. And that you will do this way. You will grab your uh, centimeter, fold the edges inside so you will know how big piece is this one. And you're going to measure it. It's important for creating that covering paper and also for creating uh, your book cover or pocket cover or the, <laughs> the cover for this. So measure your piece and write it down somewhere. It will help you to remember that. So this piece is 8 by 3. Look at that. I'm going to write it down where I don't have any paper. <laughs> so here I do have 8 by 3. For the covering paper, I would like to have 8 inches here and here the leg. So it will be 3 inches plus half inch here. That's what we have created in these edges. So half inch here plus something what will be glued on the cover here in this spot or here, you know, what will be glued on the cover so it depends how big piece you need i'm gonna count again half inch so it will be three half half so for this piece i need eight by four i'm gonna write it down for this so i need eight by four covering paper for these these are from eight by eight so i didn't even have to measure that this is seven by four half of eight you know so for this piece i will need four inches sorry for that i will need four inches half inch and again half inch which makes five inches so it will be seven by five covering piece of paper and i'm gonna cut them right now and prepare them right now and again you can create it a decorative way you can emboss it you can make it like a window if you will you can uh, sew on it uh, anything you wish stamp there make there any kind of decorative uh, things you can make it from fabric if you want just enjoy your craft create it the way you would like to see it here on the top that's why i choose this book page because for me it's kind of like cute when i do open it i can see this one <laughs> I do have prepared my papers, which I'm going to be using as a covering papers. And uh, I'm going to also score them straight away. So for this, measure the side where you do have these folds. This is four inches. So I'm going to grab my paper. This is same length as my papers. And I'm going to place it to my scoring board this way. So uh, here I'm going to be scoring. Now I would like to see this way, so I need to play <laughs> that way. 
and I'm gonna score four, which is this measurement. So four, and then that half inch, which is uh, this fold which we have created here. If you have been working with those centimeters and you used one centimeter, these folds create here one centimeter or a little bit bigger if you will uh, if you want but one centimeter will be i think just enough and here again i would like to have it this way so on this spot i want to have this measurement i'm going to place it to my scoring board with this side on the zero if you do have that uh different uh scoring board <clears throat> You know how to place it there just in case i forgot i think it was three yeah so i'm gonna place it here and score three inches and again half inch three and three and half so i do have prepared my top papers now we're gonna create these accordion hinges for that you need one sheet of paper if you are working with designed papers which are uh, in the same size like you used here or book page uh, if you are working with book pages same size of book page and now it depends on the thickness of your book page some book pages are very uh, fragile and thin that is uh, the case where you will need to reinforce it so again fold the book page on the half and glue it together or what i did here i used only one layer of book page but i have used uh, tape to tape it a little bit to make it a little bit stronger i should tape it here on the end but i kind of like <laughs> swap it when i glue it down so <laughs> depends of what you want to use uh, make sure that these accordion hinges will be strong enough and will hold for longer time than for a few minutes from the start. I'm going to be using uh, designer paper for those and book pages folded on half and glued together on this one. Here I will need two book pages, one book page on one side, another book page on the other side. And here, because it's thicker paper and it's good quality paper, I know I can just cut it on half because this is those four inches, that folded paper. So I'm gonna just cut it on half, that way I will have one piece for one side and another piece for another side. I do have cut it on half and now I'm gonna cut these two pieces to make them six inches long. And same six inches long will be for this. Same six inches long will be for any size you are using right now because we use that half inch fold here. You will need six inches long paper, and this measurement will be measurement of your pages. But six inches it's for everyone who used here half inch. If you are working with centimeters, uh, what is that opposite thing of divided? Uh, like count it uh, by 12 you know if you used one centimeter you will need you will need 12 centimeters long sheet of paper i hope that makes sense i forgot the word for opposite think of divided i will need to have a look so the right word is multiply one centimeter by 12 that's what I meant. So you will need to cut 12 centimeters strip by this measurement. In inches, it is six inches strip by this measurement. So I do have six inches by three, which I do have here. I'm going to place it on my scoring board and I'm going to score every half inch. So every half inch make score line on both of these pieces and fold 
your little paper to an accordion um, to an accordion bunch like this and do it on both pieces and here again I do have six inches by four four is this one and I'm gonna score it again half inch if you are using uh, a centimeter and you scored here one centimeter you're gonna make score lines one centimeter apart on all that 12 uh, centimeters piece basic cover like is this one where you open it just like a book you can create by uh, cutting the piece for full cover at once like this one so what i did i did uh, measure this side and this side double it twice and added here that half inch for spine so this is four by seven so i cut that piece seven inches long four inches half and four inches so eight and half inches long and i scored four and four and half so i do have cover for my pages here or you can cut the pieces in the size of your strips which i do have here uh, they are in the same size i do have two pieces plus one piece which is uh, same long it's half inch and that's gonna be the spine for my book and i'm gonna just glue it together using tape and that will be my book cover so once you do have prepared your pieces either one piece at once uh, in the one piece of cardstock or three pieces like this these you need to glue it together and create kind of like a book cover i'm gonna be using here only tape just because i do have all those pieces covered already with some decorative paper they are from some of my old uh, paper craft and i just cut it down on the pieces i need and i actually like the look of this so i'm gonna be using just this brown tape and glue glue it together as a book cover very easy way I'm gonna take a brown tape, glue the spine on it, how long piece I need, I'm gonna glue the spine kind of like in the middle, Now I'm gonna take these other two pieces and I'm gonna place them next to my spine with the small gap between. Like this. I'm gonna try to keep it straight. And here. like this and i'm gonna use brown tape here inside as well to seal it together and i'm gonna also use my sewing machine and sew it all around so i do have glued and sewn all around this cover and that will be all what i'm gonna do on this here I do have glued and decorated with book pages from inside and this uh, decorative paper from outside, this cover. But this one I'm going to extend and do that wrap around cover. So I'm not finished with this one yet. This is pretty much easy. I'm going to grab my pieces and we're going to assemble it together. 
So as I do have inside this decorative wallpaper, I'm going to be using double-sided tape. So I hope it will get stick better way. I'm actually not sure about that, so we will see. I'm going to put double-sided tape here on the end. This will be front of my cover, so I'm going to glue it here. I do have here that half inch spine and it will be this way. I'm gonna open it, grab these accordion sides and I do have them uh, folded this way so on these ends, uh, I mean on one end, <laughs> I'm gonna add the double sided tape again and glue it on this side right here and I'm gonna take this next piece and this I'm gonna put double sided tape here and glue it on that opposite side like this now before I will glue inside my pockets I'm gonna attach a closure elastic band I'm gonna be using crocodile for punching the holes so somewhere here where uh, the edges are uh, kind of crossing I'm gonna punch the hole on the top and on the bottom here and here as a closure I'm gonna be using this two millimeters thick elastic cord and I'm gonna cut the piece which is longer than it's my cover something like this and I'm gonna be using two eyelets so I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna slide in the cord and fold it here this way and hold it with my hand now I'm gonna take eyelet and I'm gonna push it inside for that I'm gonna take my scissors slide my scissors inside and just push it to that hole like this now I can fix it with the crop of that like this here I'm gonna slide the uh, elastic band from this side again I'm gonna hold it here I'm gonna kind of try to make it a little bit tight not too much just a little bit tight grab that second eyelet again with my scissors pushing it inside and I can fix it like this now I can line that elastic band on the back of my cover and cut the ends 
if they are too long i'm gonna keep there a little bit but not too much and now it's time to assemble all these five pieces so i'm gonna fold those edges in i'm gonna put the glue here lift this up and place my paper to that fold you know to match it with that fold here i can't go over uh, the spine and here i need to be sure that i'm not over the edge so make it nice position and i think i cut it my covers a little bit bigger than i supposed to but it's okay it will be slightly bigger so i do have this now i'm gonna put the glue on this second fold here on this one and i'm gonna fold this down and i'm gonna do same on that opposite side fold this down down this one down add the, the glue and place it down here kind of try to be uh, in the straight line and i'm gonna put the glue on this fold and fold this over i'm gonna grab second piece and do exactly same again gonna put the glue here now keep this down with that first piece glued so keep this down put your second piece here match the sides here and try to push it to that fold Put the glue on this and fold this over and again repeat on that opposite side put the glue here keep this down with that first piece glued and glue this one and try to push it to that fold try to push it to that score line and press put the glue on this fold and place this down and again next piece repeat till last of these strips so once you do have last piece glued in you will end up with these folds so fold it down add there a glue here as well now grab this uh, top piece and maybe you will need a help to those papers here a little bit so be aware you will be a little bit smushed with glue match the edges here and match the edges here and glue it together probably wait till it's dry <laughs> and you do have your accordion pockets including closure you can add there some decorations you can add there a label you do have nice and very useful piece for storing your ephemera maybe if you are not proper journal maker or junk journaling person who will write down every single thing what is happening in your life and you are like me and you're writing just small notes 
on pieces of papers you will find in your home, which I do have like tons of them. Maybe you can store it in these little cute little organizers and have it, you know, one month in this organizer. Maybe do a label that it's, I don't know, uh, January 2024 and store there your uh, recipes or receipts. Now I'm a little bit confused which one is which one. You store there anything you want. So this is that kind of like book. <clears throat> uh, book cover opening. The simple one. And this we're going to extend a little bit before we will add there all these pieces exactly same way. We're going to extend the cover for making it wrap it around. And I forgot to say, I forgot to show you that all these wrap around pieces, they do have also a little pocket here on the back. Like this one. It does have a cute little pocket here. So it can store quite a lot. And this is actually a ruler. I found it on a car boot sale and I really like it. It looks cute. So for creating that second cover, I do have here a piece of cardstock. 7 inches, which is same long or tall as is this cover. By 6 inches. And that will cover that rest. I have counted... Two inches here, which is half of my back cover. So two inches here, half inch spine here, and that rest will be front of my cover. So I'm gonna score two. And two and half. And if I will fold it and place it here, I do have nice cover at the front. I do have that pocket in the back. So count uh, half of back cover spine and about two thirds or three quarter of the front cover. About that measurement and cut the card in that measurement. So this size will be the same as your first cover and this size will be about three quarter of uh, the previous measurement so i do have this piece now i'm gonna cover it with the decorative papers again i do have decorative paper from outside now i'm gonna grab this one i'm gonna take a glue Put the glue here on that smaller piece on that shorter side, on the half size of this back cover. And I'm going to put my back cover here. Make sure that I can still fold the spine, you know, I can still build a spine here. Like this. And now I can put the decorative paper here over this gluing that will also reinforce that it will hold together nicely like this. Now I'm going to flip it over and where there are corners of that half cover, this one and this one, I'm going to punch the holes and fix that the closure again, elastic band. So here I do have that end of my back cover of that half and I poke the hole here and here. Now I can get up elastic band and two eyelets and same like before I'm gonna slide again I do have longer elastic band I will probably cut off a little bit, but you know, to have enough to fix 
uh, the elastic band to that cover. So I'm going to slide one side in and I'm going to help myself with the scissors to punch or push the eyelet inside. And I fixed it. Now I'm going to uh, kind of band that elastic band of around the inside of my cover now i couldn't find the word so around the inside and slide it from this side again kind of like fold it this way make it tight but not too tight and again i'm gonna push the eyelet inside using my scissors and fix this side like this any kind of long pieces i'm gonna cut off i'm gonna keep it there a little bit but not too much like this so i do have fixed the elastic band now i can band it to back And the rest it's same like before first I'm gonna glue the covering paper so on the last fold of my covering paper I'm gonna add the glue and glue it here then I'm gonna grab those accordion pieces and again I do have them folded this way so on the ends I do have those kind of like valets I'm going to add the glue on one side. And glue it here. I'm going to take that second piece again with that valley here. I'm going to put glue here on this side. And that rest is the same like on that book before. one by one glue it inside always when you are gluing your pieces in those accordion sides uh, push to that fold the end and then when you are gluing the opposite side again try to push to that fold it will move a little bit this side you know together but that way we'll make sure that these accordion sides will don't go outside will be not folded outside will be nice and even you know nice and straight so always try to uh, push your paper in those folds and continue till the end and like before once you are on that uh, last part fold those sides add there the glue fold this over and like before maybe here you will need a help to that paper a little bit sit down like me here see kind of like push it push it push it together and push it on the opposite side and hold it for a few seconds just to let it dry uh, let it grow <laughs> okay and i think we are done we do have all amazing accordion pockets you can close it close it and where is my ah, here. close it like this you can add there uh, any kind of charms if you want Add their labels, make it decorative, add their tags, and of course, add inside some goodies, something for you need to sort out, or maybe daily quotes if you would like to make it like your monthly, um, monthly uh, keepsake, maybe. So use it the way. Uh, you actually want or need I'm gonna try to sort out all those scraps and cutouts and die cuts yeah all that stuff I'm gonna try <laughs> to sort out because I do have like a really huge mess right behind me on the floor 
piles and piles of uh, scraps from last year, which I pull out from all kinds of boxes and bags and stuff like that. So this is my sharing for today. I hope it wasn't confusing and I hope um, you will try these accordion keepsake books. Uh, I really love them. They are uh, quite easy to make. You can use book pages and you will always end up with interesting uh, keepsake. These papers I use, these uh, kind of like wintery papers, they are from my new collection actually for winter. It's called Winter Wonderland, of course, because <laughs> it's about Winter Wonderland. And I do have also uh, papers for Valentine. They are very romantic. They are... Uh, with flowers and hearts. I'm gonna just quickly show you a few pages. What I do have uh, for the Valentine. So here just very quick preview for Valentine. So very soft and romantic and it's on my Etsy right now. And my Patreons, they will get it at Wednesday. And that uh, winter collection for those who are preparing yourself for maybe for winter holidays. So I will have a winter collection with snow and a lot of wintery images. And a lot of beautiful, like, uh, winter forest images. So I hope that you will, uh, you will find something interesting on my Etsy. And I really hope that uh, maybe this collection will be something for you, for your uh, winter season. And there is a lot. I kind of went crazy with this one because I actually love, I love to spend... Uh, winter and the mountains to skiing i love to unfortunately i wasn't being able to do so here in uk because uh, yeah yeah i don't know where to go to <laughs> for first and i don't have here my ski and i do have my own ski which i really love so <laughs> i was very lazy here but back in czechia i do love to spend that time with skiing uh, in ski center where my sister is uh, is living and working or i said uh, at that christmas uh, Christmas journal so that's amazing place to go so this is my sharing for today thank you so much for visiting me in my first video in 2024 uh, I wish you all a wonderful year full of strong health because that is the most important thing happiness and love and craft ideas and imagination and uh, awesome crafty mood so we will always keep our mind positive and calm. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.